To demonstrate the landmark-based technique for central venous line placement, we're using the equipment in this central line kit and suture tray, and our patient is a simulation mannequin. We prepare the skin surface by wiping with antiseptic, circling outwards once, twice, and a third time. Our patient should be in Trendelenburg position with head turned slightly to the left. And we apply sterile drapes around the field. You'll be relying on physical landmarks to properly position the line. The clavicle and the medial and lateral heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle form a triangle. Our entry point is at the apex of this triangle. Other important structures include the external jugular vein and the carotid pulse. This is the catheter. Note the centimeter markings. Gently palpate the carotid and insert the finder needle in the point of the triangle, advancing slowly and staying lateral to the carotid. The trickle of blood shows we're in the jugular. You'll withdraw the needle, mentally noting the location and the angle of entry, and re-enter with the Seldinger needle. Hold the needle securely, remove the syringe, and start feeding the wire. That 20 centimeter mark disappears into the needle and will go just past that point. You see the wire exposed. Hold the wire as you carefully remove the needle And at this point, we'll take the 11 blade with a sharp edge up to make a small incision where the wire enters the skin. This will facilitate the passage of the catheter. Before we begin, we palpate that sternal notch. Lay the catheter tip at the sternal angle with the other end to the needle entry point. And we can see the catheter is the right fit for this patient. We advance the dilator over the wire, advancing carefully to dilate the soft tissue, still holding the end of that wire with one hand. Now we advance the central line catheter over the wire, partly withdrawing the wire if necessary, until the wire is seen at the catheter hub. Uncapping that hub, we'll advance the wire backwards. Till it exits the port. Grab it and advance the catheter through the skin. Then remove the wire, getting ready to cap the port with your finger and put the hub back on. Now, an important check. Put a syringe containing saline in the hub and make sure you can both withdraw and infuse fluids. You'll check all hubs in this way before suturing and applying a sterile dressing.